Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744, guys. So today, guys, we have our semi-finalist, guys. We have a new debutant in the semi-finals. That is Canada. Canada is in the Copa America semi-finals for the first time ever. It is an insane achievement. And you have to give Jesse Marsh a lot of credit for what he did tactically. Because he outcoached Batistita. And Batistita did top a group with Ecuador, Mexico, and Jamaica. He was able to top a group that was pretty top heavy. And the fact that Canada was able to beat them on pens, Jesse Marsh, is incredible. It just shows you that co it just shows you what you could do with teams. Because coming into this game, a lot of people are saying Venezuela are the favorites. I think a lot of people are saying Venezuela are the favorites coming into this game. You know, they had the more experienced team. What they did in the group stage was commendable, nine points. But it just shows that you can't be using group stage form against another team. You know, Venezuela is almost kind of like what Austria did at the Euros. A lot of people are hyping up Austria right after the fact that they um, managed to top the group with like consisting of France, Netherlands, and Poland. Here, kind of like the same thing here. And they lost in the first round. And this is the beauty with knockout stage football. As a knockout stage football, anyone can win. Any team can win on their any given day. And I think for Canada, what they did was commendable. They played to Venezuela. Venezuela were really bad. Venezuela weren't creating a lot of good chances that first half. And Canada were exploiting the paces of Venezuela. Canada were playing on the counterattack. And you saw every time they went on the counterattack, they were creating chance after chance after chance. That Shavelsburg, bro, great goal there. Great, great goal there. Great finish there. And Shavelsburg should have scored there. Again, he should have scored. Then John the David also missed a chance. Lauren. Canada could have easily been 3-0 up in the first half. Venezuela didn't really, really create a good a lot of good chances. They did have a lot of chances, but they weren't a lot, a lot on target. They had some close headers that could have maybe gone in the back of the net. And in the second half, man, Canada kept persisting. They kept trying to go for the second goal. They weren't able to do. And Venezuela, um, you know, kept creating chance after chance. Venezuela. And eventually, Venezuela got the goal there. Um, and they made it 1-1. Uh, one, one. It was terrible goalkeeping there. Venezuela, uh, pretty much um, all the Canadian players were packed in their own box. They were trying to go for a cor uh, corner. And the Venezuela on the other end puts a great pass there for um, the left back to um, Rondon, and Rondon scores brilliantly and to make it 1-1. One, one. And then from that point on, it was a game of chances. Venezuela had some chances. Canada had some chances. And it finished level, goes to penalties. And guys, Crapo came up clutch. Crapo came up clutch. He denied. He denied um, the, the penalty right here from w Walker, Angel, and Saverino. I believe Youngle Herrera and I think Livian Miller, both those penalties were skied. But those other two were big, big saves. And obviously, Ismail Kone scoring the decisive pen to send Canada through to the semifinals. And I just think for Canada, as I said, man, what makes them so dangerous is how good they are in transition. Every time Canada go in transition, they're so well organized. I think defensively, he had a fantastic game. I think Bombita had a great game. Cornelas, Astakio, uh, Johnston, I thought, had a good game. Krapu. And I just think for Canada, man, the only concern I have is the finishing. The finishing from Canada is very poor. And because, like I said, guys, if they want to, if Canada want, if Canada can, if Canada can be clinical with their chances, Canada could go far, guys. And the fact that they made the semifinals is insane for them. As for Venezuela, I just think they were out coached in the day, out class in the day. But even still, the players were able to find a way to get a goal. And I, I want to give a shout out to this guy. This guy, Amarillo, has been fantastic. He's been such an amazing player. Rondon, man, he's been so clutch with his goal scoring. Guys, Rondon's been amazing. At Roma, man, Roma had a good game for Venezuela. He was making so many big saves to keep them alive in the game. And Yango Herrera had a good game despite him missing the penalty. And I just think for Venezuela, man, I just think that Canada just wanted him more. I think Canada just wanted him more. And I think you could tell that Can Canada just wanted him more. Venezuela, they gave it the best effort, but I just think the players, I just think Canada just, just, just did it, man. They just did it. And you got to give credit to Canada because what they did was phenomenal. And as I said for Canada, if they can improve their finishing, they could do something. And now for Canada, they're going to be playing a rematch against Argentina in the semifinals. And let's see if Canada have improved uh, from that game. Because I think Canada have looked great. And for Argentina, they haven't looked that amazing. So there is a potential po possible upset. Um, we will see, though. Of course, that semifinal will take place on Tuesday night. So stay tuned for that. Of course, I will do a predictions video in the coming days. And yeah, as I said, guys. So once again, man, congratulations to Canada. They, do, they make it to the semifinals for the first time ever. And for Venezuela, man, it's heartbreaking for them because they missed out on making their second ever semifinal appearance since 2011. That was the last time they made the semifinals. Um, and yeah, man, so 
commiserations to Venezuela, but I think Venezuela can still feel proud of what they did in the Copa America. By topping the group at nine points, it's a very insane achievement. And, sorry, and uh, yeah, as I said, man, it's it's incredible. It's incredible to see what Venezuela have done. And technically, they're still unbeaten. They're technically still unbeaten, guys. They're technically still unbeaten, despite losing on pens, because they're technically in a, in a draw. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Um, let me know if there's any major talking points in the comments below. And once again, man, congratulations, Canada. Peace out, guys. Peace out.